no games. We're here to make the best possible motion graphics. By combining real 3D objects with visual glass, you're only steps away from creating the most beautiful work here in After Effects. This style is best for presenting your titles, graphics, and information in the cleanest way possible, perhaps more corporate or presentation focused, but most importantly, you'll be able to convince your client that frosted glass and 3D glossy reflections is worth charging them an arm and a leg. And payment and exposure is not acceptable. All right, let's create the glossy 3D shapes first without using chapstick, as this is a very universal motion graphic. To create a 3D ring or a tasty donut, select the ellipse tool and only enable stroke. Set the stroke width to two, make sure fill is turned off. Make sure the layer is a 3D layer and also be sure to use the advanced 3D renderer. To cheat After Effects and create a ring, go to geometry options and set the bevel style to convex and the bevel depth to 50. Boom, a ring. And I didn't say boomerang. Feel free to rotate, reposition, and duplicate as needed. Okay, one other secret 3D object we can create is a sphere. Using the ellipse tool, create a circle that has a size of two. You'll have to manually edit that in there, but make it 3D, set the bevel style to convex, and the depth to 100. Boom, sphere. Duplicate it, resize it, do whatever. But so far, the lighting looks really bad. Let's fix that. To make our objects reflective and glossy, Go to material options, set the specular intensity to 100%, the shininess to 60%, and the metal to 0%. And we've made it worse. That's okay. When you remodel your home, you have to do some demolition first. So create an environment light and go ahead and check cast shadows. From here, we can increase the light intensity. And though this does look better, you should consider using an HDRI and you can get one that I'm using with the free project below and this will totally transform the look of your project uh, when you set the source and change the rotation. Beautiful. All right, before we create our beautiful glass, you can crunch down on your animations and save hours of time by using our free animation presets. You can select any type of graphic or title, browse a preset, and watch your project come to life in seconds. You can utilize over 10,000 presets by checking the description below. Now let's give the scene meeting with our frosted glass object that will be the absolute showstopper. Go ahead and create any shape that you want with the shape tools. Though when you use the rectangle tool, you can adjust the roundness to smooth out the edges so we don't cut ourselves. When ready, duplicate your design, turn off the bottom layer, then right click the top, go to layer styles and add bevel and emboss. Now under advanced blending, you can set the fill opacity to 0%. Then inside of bevel and emboss, set the size to two, the shadow mode to normal and just lower the shadow opacity. This is a good starting point, but go back to layer styles and add drop shadow. Just increase the size and lower the opacity. And by the way, don't worry about the exact settings in this one. You'll be fine. But now let's give this that frosted out of focus look. To achieve this, create an adjustment layer and place this between the two shapes and then set the track mat to the bottom turned off layer. Now we'll get started with the color correction tint effect. Set both colors to white and set the tint amount to a low number to help decolorize the background. So here you have the option to use say the Gaussian blur effect to blur out your background, but this is basic. So don't use that, but instead apply the compound blur effect. However, we need a texture for this to work. Again, you can get this project for free below. Import and turn off the texture, set the blur layer to the texture layer and increase the maximum blur to give you that frosted glass look. Now, I would highly suggest adding the curves effect and dialing down the brightness to get that perfect correction. One last effect you could use here is the most corporate effect of all time, CC Light Sweep. You can adjust these settings however you like, but really increase the edge intensity and then animate the center to give yourself light movement. Now, this really has come together just fine, but what if you're working on a darker scene? You may want to be more lenient with the curves effect, and if you set the specular intensity, shininess, and metal to 100%, you get this super glossy and beautiful reflection on your 3D shapes. Also, check out using gradients for your background or at least a light gray background if you're working with a lighter scene. Subscribe to be the best, and always be creating.